Hello my fellow cultured people, today it's not a cardboard gun video. Instead, I have something different. I'll be attempting to build this. I've never gotten a scale model in my life before. It's my first time building one ever. So the reason I got this was because I was curious. I always have comments like, where's the templates? Blah 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 blah, how do I do this, how do I do that? And I hate making tutorial videos. So I wondered, how easy would it be if there's already tutorials written for me and everything's cut out for me. How, how much easier would it be to make a scale model than a cardboard gun? So, let's see. Let's open this. So, when I opened the box, I looked around, looked at all the details and familiar, familiarized myself with the parts and just looked at all the details. Wow, I'm impressed. Everything is just made for me. It's so cool. Like, if I had to do this from scratch, I would have to make those suspension legs one by one, myself. That would be so much pain and have to cover corrugation and all that stuff. This is all just done for me, it's so good. And all the curves and all that good stuff, it's done! It's so cool! Then something odd caught my eye. I glanced at the M2 machine gun. And oh boy, it looks weird. The charging handle looks a little bit too far back. But I don't know, maybe it's just a tank variant, I don't know. So then I popped out all the wheel sprues and then looked at the instructions and I used the pro a tool that's probably a little too big for the job. My sister that I used to make guns. It is at this moment, disaster struck. What's a poly cap? What? So then I spent a while f trying to figure out what it is and finally I did. Oh, it's these. Okay. And now I'm confused by why is there a bolt in a plastic kit? And a weird netting thingy. Who knows? We'll figure it out eventually. Then I grabbed some sandpaper and started making the wheels. The sandpaper that I used for my L115A3. Now that I got the first wheel done, I proceeded to cut out the other wheels and sand them down. Well, it was a pain doing the wheels at least, though I didn't have to roll them up from scratch, so it was okay. Now, I try and fit them onto the thing himself. However, disaster struck. It's not going in. That's what she said. I mean, what? <laughs> and after a few minutes of messing around, I finally realized. Oh, I'm supposed to glue these together. Oh, shit. So I did the only thing that I could do. I stepped out of my house. Wow. And then I went around. I walked across the iPhone factory. They captured me. And I had to work for 22 hours every day for a whole week. And I got some money. Okay, got glue. Side note here, can anyone tell me why is it called cement? I don't get it. Why is it called cement? Wow, okay. That was simple. And that's the first wheel! Yay! After attaching my first set of wheels, I reverted back to a five-year-old child. And I start to play with it like a toddler. Alrighty, more wheels. And then suddenly, they demanded something outrageous! Okay, so it says I have to cut a pin off. Why don't you just cut it for me? So then, I guess it's time to try and cut this. So I attempted to cut it off. Well, surprisingly, it's not really that hard. Yeah, that was quite easy, shit. Okay. Now with all the wheels done, it's time to move on to the back panel. And now I have to put this phallic tiny object onto the back of the tank. And up until this point, I've lost this part twice and it's so hard to handle because it's so small. So I've decided to get some tweezers. Okay, I'm back. I, I bought tweezers. There we go. Now I'm going to do the other side. And after that, I have to glue this box on. It was so much pain to do this. It was so hard because it kept on falling off. And now I'm starting to appreciate hot glue because it dries so fast. Oh no, I've made a mistake. Oh shit, I have to do B13. I, I forgot to do that and I put the box in. Now I have to somehow squeeze that part in and hopefully glue it in place. Oh, well, wish me luck. Eh, I managed. Good enough. Now I have to do the driver's hatch. It gave me some glass pots that I have to cut out. Surprisingly, it wasn't that hard. This is very cool. I'm very happy with this. It looks very nice. The headlights were very hard to align and glue well. But hey, I managed. And now we run into another problem. The driver's hatch kept on falling out. I wanted it to stay in. So I used some of my knowledge and skills from my cardboard crafts and used the hot glue gun to basically flatten the bottom to melt it so it stops. It's like a stopper and it doesn't fall anymore. Yay! And that concludes my first night of serious building. So the second day I made the gun bridge and got started on the turret. Now I attached the gun barrel, the gun bridge onto the turret itself. There's just one problem. 
the instructions tell me to tape the top half and the bottom half together I don't understand why so I just glued it together uh, Can someone please tell me why do I have to tape it together and not glue it? And now for the periscope, it was very confusing because I wanted to make it open and it tells me to cut it open I was very scared of breaking it, but I decided to attempt cutting it anyways It's Let's see how I do again So surprisingly, uh, it wasn't that hard, but I was very scared while doing it It would have been nice if they just included an open version instead of telling me to cut it because it was stressful Okay, time to put it on Okay, so now I have this little ring I just put on. It was very small. It was a pain. I dropped one of them. The instructions only told me to get one. I hope this won't come back to bite me. It was around this time where I also realized that the cement actually melts the plastic a little bit because when I was trying to fix uh, this cable because it snapped in half, um, it just, after I fixed it in place, it just snapped even more. It was dangling. Then when I put the cement, it snapped, which was a pain when I was reattaching it. Okay, now for this part, um, I have to handle this with care and apparently I have to remove something. I have to remove those balls, at least that's what I thought. And I was quite furious as why it was there in the first place. Why don't you just remove it for me? Why do you have to put two balls? What I didn't realize was that I'm supposed to just cut the entire thing off. So I wasted about an hour sanding those balls down to make them look like a uh, pole or something. I was stupid. Like, look, I sanded those balls down. <laughs> Although not perfect, but I actually did. Until... <laughs> Wait. No. Are you telling me I did all that for nothing? And... Oh my god. I fucking sanded those things down for nothing! I'm just supposed to fucking cut them. Bro, it's fucking... Oh my god, you- Then I just rage quit and went to sleep. On the third night, I was ready to continue again. Now let's build that, but small. Okay, now I have to cut this. Why don't you just cut it for me? After carefully cutting it, I, I think I got it. It's pretty nice. Then I attached all the machine guns and the fur basket, so the third's basically done. And hey, remember what I said about the tiny ring that I dropped one of them? Yeah, about that. It came back to bite me. So I knew that I fucked up here. So I had to go and crawl on the carpet. The thing is the carpet is kind of the same color. So wish me luck. After digging 45 minutes, I finally found it. Yay. Then I attached the smoke thingies. Um, They were kind of weird to attach, not gonna lie, but hey, I managed. Here it ha in step 14, it tells me that there's a number plate. The thing is, they don't include it. How hard is it would have been for you to literally just put a plastic plate? It's not even that much plastic. You don't have to do much, but you're making me kill it myself. I have now completed the turret 100% and it's now time for the moment of truth. Oh. Now that with the main tank finished, it's time for painting and the tracks. I'm sure they'll be fun. At least that's what I thought. Little did I know. Now I've got the paint, as you can see. And the thing that I'm using to mix the paint is, well, the budget version or the poor man's choice. Because I'm a poor man, I don't have money. Also, you might have noticed in the left top corner, I painted my first wheel ever. The spare one, of course, just in case. And I mean, it looks fine. It's decent. I just realized I can do this. This makes it so much easier to paint. Okay, I've painted most of the wheels and I realized that I can't take this out because I glued this in and it's in the way. Well, that'll be fun painting it like this. I'm definitely gonna accidentally paint something that I didn't want to. Oh no. You know what? Good enough. After literally watching paint dry for a long long time, I attach one side. Yay! That's half of it. Now I have to do the other side. <laughs> Now I know I originally decided to just paint the wheels, but since I'm already here, I decided to paint the other things. So I've painted all the black stuff, now I have to get more paint. Okay, now time for the antennas. There's no gas stove in my house, so I did something really stupid since there's no open flame, I tried to bake it. I realized how stupid I was and I found a lighter, so I'm gonna use that instead. Hey, there we go. Now I can commit arson. Yeah. Like turning black, yo! It's like bending. Whoa, whoa! It's back. It's still hard. Yeah. 
it's literally black. And now we have a nice antenna, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I did the second one off camera. Then I adjusted the height and boom, we have two antenna. Now finally, to the tracks. At this point I thought to myself, hey I'm almost done, the tracks shouldn't be that hard. Well, 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 how wrong I was. I spent so long trying to attach the tracks together, it tells me that I have to first put the pins in the holes of the tracks, then I have to melt the tracks so that they will stick together. The thing is right, the track is always under tension for some reason, it's not long enough. And then when I melt it, it doesn't actually melt that much so it wouldn't even stick together. But then after that, the top has melted but the middle hasn't so it's just, I can't put it back in anymore. At one point I gave up and just used the glue gun. Then finally the last step. The decals, and with that, the tank is 100% complete. So, conclusions, what did I think? Generally, this was actually, compared to a cardboard gun, it was quite easy, it was way easier, and took way less time. This took me 3 days, a gun takes me 3 weeks, <laughs> so it looks nice. Definitely has a lot of detail. If I was trying to do this with cardboard, the thing would probably be this big, at least. If I have to do every, every single detail, it would be like, like this big. And yeah, I think if I do this next another time, uh, I'll probably try and make a camo. I'm pretty happy and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Probably tomorrow because I'm going to upload another video and that'll be on five of my favorite and worst guns, I think. I'm, I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Let's just wait, please. And please watch my videos. I, I, I like views. I know I have a dying channel, but please watch my videos. Yeah, anyways, I'll go back to work on my gun and videos. Bye.